All right, guys, even here in the topic of this video will be California Pro. In your top three, you had Tim Boresheim, the guy in the middle here. On the left, you had Patrick Moore, and on the right was Josh Wade. Josh brought an amazing conditioning. This is a conditioning that you don't see every day. And uh, he placed third, actually. I was not really expecting that. I was expecting him to be second. Or perhaps even to win it, because he was in the middle of this lineup for some time. He really was conditioned, but his structure is not that good. And this right here is the reason why team didn't win. I mean, compare his back to Patrick's back. A huge difference. A huge difference. And uh, I had team winning while I was watching them pose from the front. But from the back, not so much from the lat spread, but from the back double bicep, it is obvious that Tim is way behind Patrick, simply because of the development of his back. His conditioning was on point, his muscle belly is in the shape is really good. If he wants to improve his placings, he needs to improve his back first. And from the front, he was the best guy here. Conditioning was on point and the shape is really amazing. Josh Wade just doesn't have the best structure, but this Patrick guy had weird shoulders and lats. It seems like simple to me, I don't know, his shoulders are popping a little bit too much. It's just weird. His arms as well. I guess it is Intel. I'm not sure. But from the back he was much thicker than Tim, so I understand his placing. But Tim's physique is really something special and I hope he will improve his back because from the front he looks super impressive. He is so thick, he's symmetrical, the shape is awesome, the conditioning is great. Look at all the details and vascularity and the conditioning. Everything was on point except his back, it's a little bit shallow, so if he can improve that, he can win any show basically, because he really looks good, and he also needs to add a little bit more mass. This most muscular though looks very good, he looks very big here. And Josh Wade though, Josh is an older guy, he cannot really improve much, he can just come conditioned or he can come a little bit fuller, but that's about it, he cannot really improve any body parts. But his conditioning from the back was super freaky, I mean look at the glutes and the back, he was peeled, he was really, really on. I don't think I've ever seen him looking like this. But all the conditioning in the world won't help you if you don't have certain structure. And Josh's structure is not, it's not bad, but it's not as good as some of these other guys. So he plays third. But I think this was his best ever combination of conditioning and fullness. And the winner of California Pro is Patrick Moore, who qualified for Mr. Olympia by winning this show. He was freaky, I mean, look at this pose. His lats are popping like crazy and shoulders and arms as well. He had very good back. I think back is the only reason why he actually won. Um, I thought Tim would maybe win this show, but because of the back, he just destroyed him in that area. As you can see, his back is on point, but those shoulders and arms are looking suspicious. It looks kind of like Sintelius. I don't know whatever it is, but... His physique does look a little bit weird, I'm not sure exactly why, but I think it's an obvious simple use, maybe, maybe it's just his genetic structure, whatever the case was, I think he deserved to win this show, and I will show you right now why, exactly. So, right here you can see them and I turn around, a look at the back difference between Tim and Patrick, just a huge difference, huge difference, like really big. Wade was also much, much better in the back area than Tim, but from the front he was nowhere near Tim as far as the structure, so you can see that the shows are not won only with back. But back also does play a big role, it's a huge body part. And that's all I had to say for this video, guys. If Tim improves his back in the future, his placings will go up, way up. He will be one of the top guys, probably, but if he doesn't improve his back, that's probably not gonna be the case. And Patrick, Patrick won, deservedly so, we're gonna see him at the Mr. Olympia. I don't think he will take one of the top 10 spots, he'll probably be among the last placings, but still, just being at the Mr. Olympia is a huge achievement, especially if you qualify by winning the show, not just by collecting the points. But it also depends on what shows you're doing. So, anyways, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. If you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.